good morning and welcome to your number one show for kids on television and radio, The Amazing Kids Show. It's another beautiful, beautiful morning here in Lagos, Nigeria. And I'm sure that you had a beautiful night's rest. Hope you slept well and you are ready for the show today. Yes, I'm sure you're ready. So call all your friends, your sisters, your brothers, mommies and daddies. It's time to wake your children up. It's time for the Amazing Kids Show. If you're listening to us on radio, this is your number one radio station, Rhythm 93.7 FM. And if you're watching me on television, this is your number one TV station, Silverback TV. And you can see I'm wearing my favorite color today, red. Amazing Kids, I love red. So if you love red, you know what to do. Don't, Don't touch, touch that down. Let's, Let's go for a very short warm up break. Do the hokey pokey dance so that you're really warmed up and ready for the show. And when we come back, the show starts. My name is Victory Wilson, but of course, you're allowed to call me Auntie Victory. <laughs> All right, let the warm up, warm up, warm up. Now we'll be right back. Welcome back, Amazing Kids. It's still your number one show for kids on television and radio, the Amazing Kids Show. Yes. You know the hokey pokey dance. Right now, you're warmed up for the show. I am warmed up. I am warmed up. I have two amazing guests in the studio today, and um, today both of them do things that are similar. They're motivational speakers, and the other is a girl child advocate. And I'm excited to have them here. I like when girl children are doing amazing things for girls as well because it's that time we're not summer season where girls need to step up. You know, people will say, it's a mom's world. He's a boy. That's why he's getting all of this. No, you are a girl. That's why you should get all of that too. That is why you should get all of that too. So ladies and gentlemen, amazing kids. Let's welcome our guest today, Divine Favor and Angel Adese. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I will not say amazing kids. <laughs> Because they look big, oh, but they, they're still children, oh. They're still children, and they look so big. Tell me, what's the secret to your big, big sizes? What do you eat? So that I can eat it too. It's food. No, what kind of food? Apple. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> what is apple? Fufu. <laughs> so I should be eating fufu? Yes. Ah, so if I eat fufu? Amala. Yes, Eba. I like Amala, but it's see, Eba. see me, I'm still like this. I'm rest of mind. Rest, ah, rest of mind. Hmm. You don't have any work now. Don't worry. <laughs> when, you, when you become an adult, you know that rest of mine is very expensive. Uh-uh, but you, it, it, it feels like it looks like you're growing well. It's good. It's good. Thank I you. like it. How are you doing? Fine. Are oh, you guys are serious to be on my show today? Yeah, yes. sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I even like the fact that you are big. Just come and take over this show. I'm just thinking, this is how you should be growing. Most of you just grow, and I'm like. What happened during yeah, our time? time. There was, was no apple. apple. The apple that was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was it was not strong. It was not like, strong. Yes. So if the apple is strong like this, you are green. You are wow. green. <laughs> <laughs> this girl. Okay, so favor. Tell me about yourself. Um, you're a motivational speaker, and that's why you're here today. How old are you? I'm sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. And then you motivate girls. Yes, ma. Okay. Anything else to, that I need to know? Acting. No, like, go ahead and tell me about yourself. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Divine Favor. I'm 16, 16 years, years old. old. Um, um, I, I just finished my work. Okay. So. You love acting? I uh, guess. I love acting. I love to give um, a motivational speech. Mm. To people to out people. the world. Mm. So, so what, what's that one thing that you? And think I also makes love you dancing too. Oh, fantastic! What's the one thing that you think makes you special or makes you amazing? Because it's an amazing kids show. What makes you amazing? Um, but I, I like on my own. I'm amazing by myself. On your own, you're amazing by yourself. <laughs> what's the one thing that you think makes you amazing or makes you unique? From everybody else, mm, maybe um, the way I live my life the way is different life. from people. Okay. okay, you've never really thought about it. Yes, obviously. All right, Adeze, Madam Apple. Hey, I have to eat apple. If I don't eat apple, hmm. Okay, let's meet you. How old are you? I'm um, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, my name. And 
the fact that you you're, you're a girl child advocate so what what kind of what do you advocate for girl child as a girl advocate i believe that all girls should like be able to stand on their own mm. so what inspired you to you know want to be an advocate for the girl child you know i come from boarding school federal government girls school Japan. With Avinas is just one and there's a way they treat we girls. You know, I can say it though, boy. Is it an only girls school? Yeah. So there's a way they treat you people. How do they treat you people? Compared to boys. Like, you know, they're saying what a man can do, a woman can't do. Or let me say a woman can do better. Or our school don't take it like that. They feel we can't do anything. Okay. So he likes it. That's why I said, let me be a girl advocate so I can like push girls to do what they want to do. Not being overshadowed by guys and okay, okay, all right. So tell girls that what a man can do, a, a woman, woman can, can do. do better. Okay, all right, all right, favor. Let's let's hear a bit of your motivational speech and then we hear more mm-hmm. of your advocacy, advocacy and what you've been doing for the girl child, child and, and then we we'll move ahead. Favor, you yeah. have the floor. Hello, Hello beautiful, beautiful girl child. I just want you to know that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. You are strong, resilient, and full of endless potentials. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You have the power to dream big, to set your goals, and to work hard to achieve it. Don't be scared of taking risks. Challenge yourself. Step out of your comfort zone. Embrace every opportunity that comes your way. Believe in yourself wholeheartedly. You have... Okay. All right, thank you, Favor. Adizy, let's hear more about your advocacy for the girl child. Together. Girl child, how are you? I'm Waru Angel Adizi, your girl advocate. I'm 15 years old, an actress, and a dancer. Thank you. Together, we can actually make a difference in girl life. Let us walk toward a world where girls are not bullied. We let's see things differently, because especially in Lagos, Nigeria. So I feel we should all have the opportunity to succeed. You know, in the early days, they say girls are only based in the kitchen mm. where guys are doing what's allowed to go to school. Mm. But I am very glad now that there's a change. Mm. And if you look out there, girls are the one making it more than guys because we have the like, we are wonderfully and beautifully created. So I just want to tell you girls out there that never feel inferior. Okay, and there's a saying the way you dressed, that's how you be addressed. Let's know how to dress so comfortably and compatibly. Thank you. The way you are dressed, there's one thing that I even like from what you said. The way you're dressed is the way you be addressed. I think parents, parents should, should also start to teach, teach their children, children the, the proper way to dress from their tender age. age. You, you know, know? Let, let them dress appropriately. appropriately. Let, let them dress well in a way that, you know, honor them. Let, let them honor themselves, themselves in their dresses so, so that other people can honor them as well. well. Thank, Thank you so, so much, Favo and um, Adizi, for those amazing kids' show. Yes, it is the amazing kids' show, still running on Soul Bed TV, TV and Rhythm FM. FM. And, and now it's time for us to take our rhyme of the week. week. Amazing kids, are you ready for our rhyme of the week? Yes, yes, yes. yes. my, my favorite, favorite rhyme. rhyme. I know you should know what my favorite rhyme, rhyme is, and, and that's what our rhyme of the week is. Is. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, let's take the of the week and I'll be right back. Amazing Kids Show. Exclusive to Rhythm FM and Silver Bear TV. Okay, okay welcome, welcome back. back. It's still the Amazing, Amazing Kids Show. Yes, yes my, my name is still Victor Wilson, Wilson and this is Rhythm FM, FM and Silver Bear Television. Television. All, All right, right, I have my guests, Favor and Daisy. In the studio, and you just gave us a bit of yeah, your why are you from your face? What's what that? that? Do you want to run away? No. <laughs> so you just gave us a bit of your girl child advocacy and what it's about, and you encourage, encourage the, the girls, girls which, which I, I think, think is amazing, amazing. Yeah. really, really yeah. amazing. Yeah. But, but there's one question that, that I ask um, 
There's, There's no question, question I always ask, ask my guests, guests when they sit in my chair. If, if you, you have, have the opportunity, opportunity to be the president of Nigeria, Nigeria for one day, what would be the first thing you'd do? Let's start with favor. Favor. If, if you have, you need to think about it. Favor. Always thinking. All right. Adeze, if you have the opportunity to be the president of Nigeria for one day, what would be the first thing you'd do? You must not say the same thing, though. Okay. Okay. First of all, there is going to be fuel. There's going to be fuel. <laughs> is it because I told you I was looking no. for fuel this morning? No, actually. Actually, that's... actually, I was looking for fuel this morning. There's there's a bit of um, scarcity of fuel right now. And because it's like easy. what we make in Nigeria, I can't believe we have scarcity of what we need. So. What we have. So there is actually going to be fuel. And the price of education is going to be reduced. The like price of yeah. The cost of the education. Cost of education. Is going to be reduced and many goods and services to the cost actually going to be reduced so the first thing you talk about is fuel free <laughs> and then secondly the cost of education Fusion and mm. news but what advice would you even give to the government right now if you're in the position so we should stop bribery and corruption because everybody's just complaining to nibu it's not actually Tinibu. it's the people on that president it's not our president, it's the governors, the... That's what, they are the ones taking the money. <laughs> they are the ones taking the money. Yes, they are putting it in their own bank. Like now, we are catching different governors with different amount of money. And that's not fair. Because people are in the streets begging just to... That's why other countries are better than our countries. Because they don't do bribery and corruption there. What do they do? It's not like more than the rest of mm. So, I'll actually change some things okay about your favor first like there will be lights mm, electricity yes electricity and water can you sit up water because if there's no light you cannot get the water and again good road mm. the road is very bad yeah once rain falls the road will be messy Mm. It will be dirty. The flood will be too much. The pollution will be much. Mm. And secondly, thirdly, I mean, there will be those children that always stay on the road mm. begging. They will be properly trained and educated as well. Mm. And there will be an orphanage home to take them in and to give them the best care and education to them. Fantastic. I like the idea yes, that like people have. have. That, that means, yeah, there's, there's so, so many things. things. I mean, we will go on and on about so many things, things that you don't like about the country that you wish you could change. Right? Right. Yes, yes, but let's talk about you. you. What would you really like to do when you're older? Although now you will look like you've grown. They've not grown. They're small children. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. But that, that aside, I was just joking. But what would you really like, like to do when you're older? Right now, you're advocating, advocating for the girl child. child. You're into acting, acting modeling, dancing, dancing, all of these normal things, things that young girls do, you know, when, when they, they are not yet decided, when they have not yet decided what they really want to do when they grow up. So, so I'm, I'm sure you must have thought about, about it, right? Favor, favor, all this. You need, need to get time to think about everything. Well, have you thought about it before? What you really want to do when you grow up? If you say no, then that would be a surprise. All right. So what do you really want to do when you grow up? When I grow old and I eventually have the money. So oh, you must have the money first. Yes. <laughs> okay. It must be money in everything you do. Okay. And God. Okay. So when I have the money, yeah. I will build a supermarket, oh. a school, mm. and a big mall mm. where people get in, do their events, mm. then school, where children are going to be educated, but the school fees is not going to be high. I would reduce it mm. depending on the parents. Most of the parents don't have the money to train their child into school from baby, um, university, primary, secondary. So that's what I'm going to do when I. That's an amazing dream. I like, I like that. that. It's, it's very, very practical. practical. Like, like you, you know, know the problem, problem that you're trying to solve, the, the problem, problem that needs to be solved when you're trying to solve. It's very practical. It's not like, like the other dreams that are, yeah, I want to be a doctor or lawyer. Yeah. Those, Those are also very realistic and practical, but you're like, yeah, you, you like, like money. money. 
everybody it, likes money <laughs> when i have the money <laughs> when i have the money <laughs> all, all right, right what about, about you and Daisy? Daisy? i actually want to become a chartered accountant okay then we actually build an orphanage mm. when nobody pays you know then the orphanages are free yeah then provide food school for those in the orphanage then yeah, so that, that's what you do when you, you have an orphanage okay so you want to be a chartered accountant and you want to have an orphanage hmm. why do you want to be a chartered accountant that's where the money comes from that's where the money comes from wow they told you that chartered accountants have money i'm in my family now that would be okay everyone in your that's why i said why so everyone in your family they are accountants everyone. not everyone but most like a good number of people mm-hmm. in your immediate family or extended family extended they're chartered accountants and then they have the money mm-hmm. they have plenty money mm-hmm. ah, <laughs> <ego. laughs> so you would all saw that that ah this is my auntie and uncle they have money i must have this money too <laughs> fantastic ah uh-uh, ah these two, two girls, girls. These two girls. Alright, amazing kids, we heard from Fabian and Daisy, and it's been a fun time. We're still here. But now it's time for us to take this week's story. And this week's story is titled The Honest Woodcutter. You know that this morning, 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 Amazing, Amazing is the time for us to take our story for the week. The honest woodcutter. Pay attention when we come back. I'll open the phone line to you. Call in and, and tell, tell me what you learned from the story. I'll be right back. Hello, this is Daisy. Hello, this is Fabian. And this is Daisy. 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 Daisy.
So, so if you're about, about to make a mistake, if you've spoken to someone about it, then you will make that mistake. All right, I mean, kids, I'm going to open the phone lines now for you to call in and tell me what you learned from the story. Okay, so the number to call is 070 or 077 079 Call in and tell me what you learned from the story. Amazing kids, the rules. The rules. You're already calling, but please listen to the rules. Reduce the volume of your TV before you call it. Because if you call it and I can hear myself, or I can hear you from I'll just have to end the call and pick the other person's call. Make sure that you're ready to call before you call it. So that when I take your call, you will know that I'm taking your call. And you're communicating with me through your phone, not through your television. Okay? okay? Amazing, Amazing kids, that would be good. So let, let me try, try to take this one call. And if this person does not obey, we'll have to move, move to the next thing. Alright, let's just go. Hello, good morning. Hello? Yes, yes hello, good, good morning. morning. What's, What's your, your name, name and where are you calling from? My name is Pues John DBC. Where, where are you calling from? And I'm, I'm calling from Lagos State. Yay, our first caller today is from Lagos. They did not catch you people today. Beautiful. All right, what, what did you learn from the story? Ooh, I was excited that our first caller is in Lagos today. What now happened? Hello, good morning. Hello? Hello, what's, what's your, your name, name and where are you calling you from? from? Okay. My name is Michelle. Michelle, where are you calling from, Michelle? Edo State. Edo State. Okay, Michelle, what did you learn from the story? I learned that it is good to be honest and good to be patient. Yes, it's good to be honest and it's good to clap for yourself. <laughs> All right, Michelle. Michelle. How, How old, old are you? Eight, nine, nine. Uh, yeah, you don't know your age. You said eight, eight nine. nine. Which, Which one should I pick? I'm nine. You're eight, nine. nine. You're a big boy. Would, Would you, you like, like to speak with our guests? Yes. yes. Okay, go ahead. Tell them what you want to tell them. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm fine. You want to ask some questions? Michelle, do you want to ask them anything? Okay, Michelle, at this juncture, you've tried. Thank you very, very much, much for calling. calling. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> I, think I think your, your brother, brother is driving the phone with you. you. He's driving the phone with you. you. Huh? Hello, good morning. Hello. Hi, good morning. What's, What's your, your name and where are you calling from? My name is Chimamanda. Chimamanda, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Abia State. Abia, good. What's the capital of your state? Umaya. Ah, I thought you were not getting it. Clap for yourself. That's, That's good. good. All right. Chima Mother, what, what did you learn from today's story? Um, I learned that honesty pays. Honesty pays. Mm -hmm. Good. Honesty pays. How old are you, Chima Mother? I'm nine years old. Nine years old. But it sounds like you have so much knowledge. So, Chima Mother, I want to ask you to give children that are watching or listening to the show right now a bit of advice what would you advise children right now and <laughs> chief Amanda, can you hear me yes i said that you should give children that are watching the show now some advice what would you advise kids that are watching or listening to the show right now i'll tell them that they should stop lying that it's good to be honest if you lie, it will just give you more punishment. Good. If you lie, it will just give you more punishment. Thank you so much, my darling. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Bye. Yeah, if you lie, it will just give you punishment. So don't lie. Be honest. 
oh, oh this person already ended, ended the call, call. Well, let, let me, me try, try to take, take one more call and then oh, oh I, I think, think i ended this call all right amazing right, kids let's try again hello good, good morning, morning. Hello, good morning. She's also the pitch. Hello. Good morning. What's, What's your, your name, name and where are you calling from? Good morning. Good morning. Hello. What is your name? Good morning, Ma. Good morning, darling. What, what is, is your name? My name is Esther. Esther, where are you calling from, Esther? My name is Esther. Where are you calling from, Esther? My name is Esther. Esther, I've heard you. Where are you calling I'm from? Call, I'm calling from Edo State. From Edo State. Beautiful. Esther, what did you learn from this story? Okay, so, so Esther, you know obey the rule. The rule says that you should reduce the volume of your TV and communicate with me through your phone, not through the TV. I love that you should so be I'll have to end your call. I'm so sorry. The rule says don't communicate with me through your TV, but your phone. I was going to be a very slow conversation. All right, amazing kids. Now let's take words and opposites. And I'll be right back to take more of your calls. Don't forget the rules. Be ready to call before you call in. Reduce the volume of your TV or radio so that we can have a great conversation. Let's take up the word and I'll be right back. Please, can we run the phone? I hope I, I move it with the this. Amazing Kids Show. Exclusive to Rhythm FM and Silver Bear TV. Hello, good morning. My name is Anna Grace. Grace, where, where are you calling from? I'm from? Uh, from Anambra State. Anambra, Grace, how old are you? I am seven years old. Seven, all right, Grace. Grace, what did you learn from the story? It is good to be calm and honest. Mm. It, it is, is good, good to be calm. Did you, did you say, say calm, calm or kind? I said calm and honest. Oh, it, it is, is good, good to be calm and honest. Do you, you want, want to tell, tell me why? why? It is because if the woodcutter was not calm, the angel would have left. Mm, the angel would have left. Mm. Okay, okay, thank, thank you, you so much, much Grace. Would, would you like, like to speak with, with our guest? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. They can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. You too. How are you? Fine. How are you too? You're fine. I'm good. Do you want How to ask this question? You? How old are you? How old are you? I'm Angel Adizi and I'm 15 years. I'm Divine Favor, I'm 16 years. What is the name of your school? Ah, uh, Grace. <laughs> All right, Grace, thank you very much for calling. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, okay? Yes, ma. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so what's the name of your school? Do you, Do you want, want to live at Ambra and come to Lagos? <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe it was... I don't know why I keep ending that call. I'm sorry. Hello, Hello good, good morning. morning. Hello. Uh oh. All right, amazing kids. Uh, make, make sure that you're ready to call before you call in. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Okay. One more 
Alright guys, the number is to call 070-599-369937. We've listened to the story of the honest woodcutter. Call in, tell me what you learned from the story. Make sure you reduce the volume of your TV or radio before you call in. Make sure you're ready before you call in. Hello, good morning. Okay. Amazing kids. I don't understand what you this morning. Hello, good morning. Look, Look at, at your phone, phone. I've picked, picked up, up your call. call. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. six. Okay. So, so another thing that's affecting our conversation is you are focusing on your TV. And I say that reduce the volume of your TV screen and focus on your phone. So that when I pick up, you will know and you'll be ready. Okay? If you take this last call and it's not going, I'm going to move so I can do it. Hello, good morning. Morning, ma. Morning. Morning. What's, What's your name, name and where are you calling from? My name is Onome Siri. Onome, where are you calling from, Onome? I'm calling from Nigeria. Where in Nigeria? In Iguadolo. What, what state, state is that? that? Edo State. Edo State. Okay, fantastic. What, what did you learn from the story? story? I learned it is good to be honest. It, it is, is good, good to, to be honest. honest. Why? Do you, you want, want to tell me why? why? Yes, because we have to be honest because if we are honest, people will see us like, ah, we are good, this is good, and we can also help others. Mm. If, if you are honest, honest, people will see you for who you are, and, and you have, have the opportunity to help others as well. That's, That's beautiful. Thank, thank you very much for sharing that insight, right? right? Yes. Have, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. If you're honest, people will see you for who you are. You can shine your light in the lives of other people, and people can help you as well. But if you're not honest, you won't receive help. Hello, good morning. Bye. This person is not ready. I can hear my voice. So I'm sorry, I'll have to end your call and take another call because the rule is be ready. Hello, good morning. Hello. Yes, good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Shibi Kemurabi. I'm coming from Delta State. Marvel! How old are you, Marvel? How old are you? I am nine years old. You're You're not, everyone that is calling today are either, either nine, nine or seven. What, what happened? Did you plan it? <laughs> Alright, what, what did you learn from today's story? story? I learned you should be honest and be obedient. You, you should, should be honest, honest not honesty. honesty. Say, Say that again. again. You should be honest and be obedient. Good. Good. Clap, Clap for yourself. Go and pop. Oh, oh, oh. I like, I like that. that. I, I like, like that. that. Be honest and be obedient. Are you sure you're going to practice all of this from, from now, now on? on? Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Good. Good. So, so make, make sure, sure you practice honesty and obedience. Alright, have, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, weekend darling. Thank you, Matt. Bye. 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 Alright, amazing kids. I want to play I Can Do It. You know the affirmation I like to play for you because you need to tell yourselves positive things every day. When you say positive things to yourself, it helps you achieve all of your dreams. So you need to pay attention to this affirmation, learn it, and say it to yourself every time. You can do it. I'll be right back. Amazing Kids Show Exclusive to Rhythm FM and Silver Bear TV Welcome, Welcome back. back That, that was, was an amazing, amazing affirmation I hope you heard the wording of that song Nothing should stop you Nothing is going to stand in your way You can do it And I think they You'll be proud of yourself that you did it Okay on that note, no, please give us your final words, favor, and a daisy. What's, What's your final advice to kids as regards achieving their dreams and how they should live? So, like, amazing kids, I just want to tell you guys that you can do it. No matter who you are, what you are, and how old you are, you can do it, okay? And always make yourself happy. Never look down on yourself or anybody. Thank you so much. Mm. Amazing kids show... I just want to tell you that you can do it. Remember your voice matters the most. Never underestimate the impact on the world around you. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Thank you. 
That's amazing. 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 Okay, okay, one, one more, more question, question before we wrap up. Uh, uh, where, where do you see yourself in the next um, 10 years? Because now you are 15, 16. So where do you see yourselves in the next 10 years? Start. You, you are laughing. So start, Favor. You have 30 seconds to answer me. Probably being the boss of my own self. Being your boss. Yes. And making my own money. I'm making your own money in what way? <laughs> Businesses. I know you will say business. Business woman. <laughs> what about you? I see myself being the girl. Sorry, being the woman I always wanted to mm. be. So like as a chapter accountant, making my own money and not depending on any man. So I'll be an independent woman. Mm-mm. Independent women. Independent so just give me a fair independent women. Independence, man. That's good. It's good. It's important that parents should train their yeah, girl child, child to be independent. independent. Train, train them and let, let them have, have that mindset that, that they can, can do anything that they put their mind to doing. Do Achievement is not just for the boys. Money, Money is not for the boys, boys alone, but it's for the girls as well. And, and they can do it. Don't put them down. Their place is not in the kitchen. Train them to have that mindset that they can achieve anything. But, but make sure, sure that, that they don't lose their, their feminine power in, in the process, process because they are created as women for a reason. So, so train them to know that they can achieve anything without losing their feminine power. Not that you should train them to be men. No, no. But, but train them to know that what, what the men can do, they, they can, can do better without losing their feminine energy and their feminine nature. On this note, this is where we wrap up the show. Today on The Amazing Kids Show, hope you learned a lot. I'm, I'm excited, excited that all the kids said that, that they will practice, practice everything that they learned. When, when we go back next week, week, the first question I'll ask you is, what did you do last week that was related to the honest book and you must answer me? Thank, Thank you so much, amazing kids, kids amazing parents, parents for joining the show today and staying tuned to the, the very end. end. Thank, Thank you, my darling guests. It was amazing, amazing having, having you. You're full of wisdom. wisdom. Business Thank women you. that like money. <laughs> I look forward to seeing all that you will be in future. Well, I'm rooting for you. Thank you. And um, tune in to the show every, every Saturday, Saturday, 10 a.m. on Silver, Silver Bear TV and Rhythm FM. FM. Don't, Don't miss, miss it. it. My, My name is Victory Wilson, and I love, love you. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> amazing Kids Show. Exclusive to Rhythm FM and Silver Bear TV.